in a thought-provoking interview with a New Telegraph, Professor Ango Abdullah, a former Vice Chancellor of Amadou University, Amadou Belu University, and the convener of the Northern Elders Forum, shared his view on the current state of Nigeria under the Bola Tinumbu government. Describing the situation as very sad, Abdullahi attributed the country's problems to both Nigerians and their leaders, emphasizing the need for accountability and repeated and the repeated election of the wrong people. As a personal friend of Tinubu, Abdullahi advised the president to listen to the complaints of the people and ensure that his officials provide honest and sincere reports. He stressed the importance of the president devising ways to verify the information given by his close associates and punishing any official found to be in breach of the law. I don't even like to hear this kind of statement that say, oh, it is the information they are being given. That is the reason why they are. It's a lie. These people know they were born and bred up or brought up in Nigeria. They know the, 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 all the antics here and there. So why are you telling us that it is the what they are giving them? People that were suffering before. They got to the position they got to because of uh, the their uh, 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 their fraudulent acts, not because uh, they are not aware of what is going on. Just forget about them. They say they don't know that it is their people around them with their wrong information. They know exactly what is, is happening, so they want to hide under the guise of a uh, oh, it is people who are they are surrounded with are giving them wrong information. I don't buy that. Addressing the recent protests against perceived hardship, Abdullahi affirmed that hunger is a reality in Nigeria and that the constitution protects Nigerians protect Nigeria's right to peaceful expression. He criticized the government's reluctance to allow the protest, stating that it infringes upon the rights of Nigerians to freely express themselves. Abdullahi also highlighted the amalgamation decree of 1914 which stipulated that the entity called Nigeria would expire after 100 years. He called for a conference to evaluate whether Nigerians have made sufficient progress in building a nation. If no consensus is reached, Abdullahi suggested that Nigeria should consider going their separate ways. And that is the bone of contention, and that is the reality we are faced with. That is the reality we are faced with. Hmm. Nigeria has not moved, has not improved any bit. It's even worse. Commenting on the creation of the Northwest Development Commission, Abdullahi questioned the effectiveness of such commission and cited the example of the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, NMPC, which has been unable to provide affordable petrol prices despite the country's vast oil and gas resources. When asked about the suggestion to reverse the 1963 Republican Constitution and practice a Westminster parliamentary system with a regional governmental structure. Abdullahi emphasized the need for Nigerians to revisit the amalgamation decree and access their progress in building a nation. He stated that if Nigerians are failed to build a country after 100 years, they should consider the appropriate steps recommended in the decree. Abdullahi also revealed that he had refused to attend the constitutional conference organized by former President Gulag Jonathan's government, deeming it badly constituted. He had discussed the matter with the late Professor Ben Oabwezi, and they both decided not to participate. In conclusion, Professor Ango Abdullahi's interview sheds light on the complex challenges facing Nigeria and the need for a critical evaluation of the nation's progress. His call for a conference to assess the country's future and his suggestion of potential separation if consensus cannot be reached are likely to spark further discussions on path or path forward for Nigeria. I'm sure there's a lot of people will be saying and eh, when Buhari was there, he didn't call for the separation because as it is now, Nigeria is even worse than when it was created. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Good talk, good man. I love that. I have been expecting this. Not this rubbish, Biafra. Nigeria is going to part with on a platter of good, just like the former USSR. See the mess we are into. Our highways are death traps. 
some people marrying four wives and producing amajuris boko haram kidnappers cattle rustlers train hijackers and so why 70 percent security budgets are spent fighting in one region yet no victory what is set back cows are valued more than our brothers and sisters in place too professor Agwabila, you can't be wrong for sure nigeria is no longer working discussion should be head for peaceful separation it will be a huge blessing to nigerians nigeria is not at all but the number of people that are taken down every day across the country is enormous peaceful separation along ethnic lines or geopolitical divide will be okay do you need microphone or mirror to see that it is no longer working as one in short no need of conference here you go straight to the root causes of the country not even working and can never work because now the had lead cause on <laughs> is it because now the had lead cause hmm. when Ever the talk of separation, Yoruba are objective to it because they are too lazy to work. Uh uh, what has a the statement of a uh, Abdullahi got to do with a uh, Yoruba or what? I beg that is not a, a an issue. Second base, Mr. President once said, One Nigeria is not working. Hmm. Of course, not. Tinubu says so. Some people may not even like the separation of this man's word. Once drugs are expired, anyone that continues to take it is really killing his or herself. Once expired, is expired. Meanwhile, Igbos have been given notice that they should leave Yoruba land. None of the leaders have condemned or anyone arrested. The date has been given until they start their attacks. It's like this discussion is there in their meetings because out of the abundance of hearts, the mouth, mouth speaks. Professor Angle goes straight to the point. Nigeria has presently constituted. It's not working. It's not working at all. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.